This lesson is all about pages. Do your best to translate these sample sentences before the end of the intro song. Ruski Ed is here, and in case it's not completely clear, to learn to read in Russian you must know, lots of Russian words and where they go. There are three kinds of pages that we will discuss in this lesson. The first two are made out of paper, and the third one isn't. Focusing first on the two kinds of pages that are made out of paper, it is important to distinguish between numbered pages, like the ones you might find in a regular book, and the kind without numbers, as you might find in a notebook. The notebook kind of page is referred to using the word least, and the regular book kind is referred to using the word stranitsa. So having made this distinction, let's get straight to sample sentence number one. On napiso ye zapisku na tetradnom listi. It means he wrote a note for her on a notebook page. The focus word here is a form of tetradni, and tetradni is the adjective form of tetrads. And both tetrads and tetradni mean notebook. Notebooks may also be referred to using the term zapisnaya kanishka. Sample sentence 2 goes like this. Ugolik adnoi i stranits buil zagnut. And ugolik adnoi stranitsi buil zagnut. Both mean the corner of one of the pages was folded. First of all, ogolak is a small ogol, and secondly, the focus word for this sentence is a form of zagnuts, and zagnuts is the perfective form of zagabats, and both words mean to fold or to turn. It's now time for sample sentence 3. Ketolta is piso adnu is tranits, and ketolta is piso adnu stranitsu both mean someone covered one of the pages with writing. The word of interest here is a form of stranitsa, and stranitsa means page, as previously noted. The fourth sample sentence goes like this. Anna stranitsa at susfuyet. And anna i stranitsa at susfuyet both mean one of the pages is missing. The focus word here is a form of the word at susfuvats, and at susfuvats means to be absent or to be lacking. And finally we have... Anu stranitsu virvali and anu i stranits virvali both mean one of the pages has been ripped out. The word of interest here is a form of virvat, and virvat is the perfective form of virvat, and both words mean to tear out or to pull up. So now it's time to talk about the third kind of page. And although Paj is in a young person who attends to the needs of someone like a king or a member of Congress is an obsolete word in Russia, it still gets used occasionally, for instance, on atragal at nova paja and on atragal at nova is page both mean he scolded one of the pages. In negative order, the singular forms of page include paj, paja, paja, paju, pajom, and o page. In negative order again, the plural forms of page include paji, page, page, pajam, pajami, and o paja. The focus words for this lesson include tetradi means notebook. Zagnuts means to fold, stranitsa means page, atsustvovats means to be absent, and virovats means to tear out. Ruski Ed, signing off now, das viranya! Ruski Ed is here, and in case it's not completely clear, to learn to read in Russian you must know, lots of Russian words and where they go.